it sounds like you also have a, your guests fluctuate towards, you said, I think you mentioned film earlier. So you have sort of a passion there for the, the movie industry, sounds like. Oh, I'm, yeah, I've been involved in it for a while. I've been I made movies. And so I, uh, you know, I, and, I, and I've known a lot of people in the film industry in one way or another. And so I've, you know, I've had my friend Werner Herzog, who's a director, and I've been in two of his movies, and Woody Allen on, and, and uh, a number of people who, are, who either act or, or, or make movies. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it's um, I'm gonna have another friend of mine, a director friend of mine uh, coming on, Michael Mann, and, and I think it's uh, it, because they reach a lot of people, and it's what's really interesting is it's is that some of these people have really deep thinkers about about the world, and they're and they're making interesting pieces of art, and that's true for writers too, like Cormac or or you know, Ian McEwen, another wonderful author who I've had on and a good friend. Anyway, dang, Michael may be a cool guest, especially since he's writing. I think they're in the production of Heat too, unless yeah. I misheard that. When when we met last year, he gave me the draft of Heat Two, and uh, oh, you know. so you've read the script, at least yeah. the draft. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you optimistic about it? Well, he's a great director. It'll be it'll be action packed. But anyway, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, so are you? Uh, well, well, when I have him on, you can hear what he has to say about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you like a? I don't want to assume you're a science fiction movie lover as well. Do you? I guess does your love expand over many genres of film? Well, I wrote the physics of Star Trek, and so I'm, uh, I'm sort of, uh, uh, I have that, and that became a very popular book years ago, but perhaps before you were born. Um, and so I'm, I, I yeah, I, I like science fiction, some science fiction, a lot of it I don't. A great guest I've had on was my friend uh william shatner uh and and uh that was a fun guest and uh he's he's really another person who's actually pretty scary smart and really excited and knowledgeable and interested in the world even at 95 um but yeah i mean there's some good and i've had um um alex um garland who was who made uh, ex machina uh a, a director on and and uh and and uh so he yeah we we, we yeah so there's some science fiction i like a lot of it i find very very facile but that's okay okay i have to ask you this then have you seen the movie arrival yeah and a lot of people liked it i didn't like it so you didn't like it oh okay i'm sorry but no i found it tedious anyway <laughs> what's okay i have to I don't I have want to, to ask you. I don't want to do drama, you know, and I hated Interstellar too. If you're going to ask me about that, but yeah, I, had a, I had a feeling you wouldn't like that one. But I was going to ask you what, like, your guess, your Mount Rushmore of films or science fiction films. Well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think in terms of best or greatest. I, I just don't. And so, you know, there's a lot of them I like. I like some of the Star Trek films, but I liked obviously I liked 2001: Space Odyssey, but I was young during that time. Um, but there, you know, I like Blade Runner, uh, uh, the original, and um, you know, there's a, there's a number, a lot of them I like. I'm 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 pretty easily entertained. It's just if the if the plot be, if the plot becomes so silly that I can't suspend disbelief, then I give up on the movie. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's fair. Okay, cool. And and. Well, uh, you know, and uh, and what was the one? Yeah, Contact was it was pretty good with Jody Foster. Ooh. Anyway, and Carl Sagan wrote it. Yeah. Anyway, you ever see Independence? You see Independence Day? The who? Independence Day. Yeah, of course. My friend Bill Pullman's in it. Uh, uh, the president. He'll be on the podcast too. But yeah, I. Oh, that'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've uh, I, there were parts of Independence Day I like. I mean, I like the actors, and uh, yeah. So I enjoyed actually for some reason. I wrote about Independence Day in one of my books, Beyond Star Trek. I wrote about all the all the major scientific errors that were in it. But that's a, but I, I still enjoyed it. Okay. You no, know, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, you know, I didn't enjoy every aspect of it. The raw, raw, gung ho patriotism thing kind of made me cute, but the rest was okay. Yeah, I thought I always thought it's hilarious how this advanced technology aliens come to Earth and we somehow win. I never really understood that. I don't know. They're, yeah, everyone seems to think we're of interest. We're not. 